Good morning and happy Monday, the start of another wonderful week in the Lord, a week that we call Holy Week, in which we are journeying with Jesus uh, through the last time he will eat with his disciples to his crucifixion on the cross and an empty tomb on Easter. It is certainly a week that the Lord has given to us. You know, our journey through Holy Week takes us on a roller coaster of different events through Jesus' life as it culminates with Jesus' purpose of dying on the cross and then rising from the dead on Easter. The season of Lent has been a time in which we look at our need for a savior and for forgiveness, for our repentance and the mercy that God gives to us. And during this Holy Week, it's no different. We look at the events of Jesus' life in the next uh, few days as, as we go through this week. And we look at the ways in which God continues to care for us, not only in our day-to-day -day life, but for all of eternity. And as I think about what this week will bring, I think about the ways in which we can continue to be thankful, certainly thankful for what God gives to us in our health and in our home, and in certainly in his grace and his forgiveness. So as we sit on this Monday of Holy Week, as we look to what will come later on in the week, today I have a challenge for you. As we look about our lives, we have so many things to be thankful for. God surrounds us with family. God surrounds us with friends, even though our distance with those friends seems to be a little far right now. So here's my challenge. I want you to take today and say thank you to someone. I want you to think about the people that are important in your life and take a moment to just send them a message of a thank you, whether it be uh, your children, your spouse, whether it be a teacher, whether it be uh, a healthcare worker that you know or a first responder. My challenge for you today is find a way that you can send a quick message of thank you. God gives us so many things to be thankful for, and I'm encouraging you today to find a way. Go through, give somebody a phone call, write them a letter, send them a Snapchat or a Facebook message. Find a way to simply say thank you. It's a great way for us to reflect on the thankfulness we have for our Lord, for everything that he gives in our life. This is the day the Lord has made. We rejoice and we're glad in it. Even when there's troubles, even when there's difficulties, the Lord of all grace and mercy, our living God provides for us day in and day out. So I hope you take this challenge. I hope you take a moment to say thank you to someone for something they've done for you or they're doing for others. As we journey through Holy Week, we certainly encourage you to be part of our Holy Week services, 7 p.m. online on Monday, Thursday, 7 p.m. online on uh, Good Friday, and then 9.30, our celebration of Easter on Sunday. All those links can be found on the Grace Chapel website by going to www.gracechapelstl.org or by finding our YouTube channel, certainly on YouTube. God's blessings on your day. Find something to be thankful for. Give thanks to God for his many blessings. Have a wonderful day.